All right, you might be wondering what the heck is investment banking and what types of investment banking exist. Today, I'm gonna to discuss both buy side and sell side and what those mean in the world of investment banking and why it might matter, especially if you wanna work in this career field. So first of all, let's take a step back and let's look at the history of investment banking. So investment banking in the US really can trace its roots all the way back to probably like the Louisiana Purchase. Remember this, this is when Thomas Jefferson bought basically half the US from France in the Louisiana Purchase. And this was largely because Napoleon was trying to finance a war and was looking for additional income and they, the French weren't really doing anything with this huge tract of land and so they bought it. But America at the time either couldn't or didn't want to pay cash out of pocket for it. And so they worked with an investment bank out of England called Barings Bank. The bank still exists today uh, and is one of the oldest investment banks in the world. They helped finance the entire transaction by creating bonds, the first US securities that were traded on the international markets. And those bonds were used to pay France for the land and then the US government over time paid off those bonds. That right there is a great example of an investment bank helping on both buy and sell side of a transaction. Anyways, hopefully that's a good illustration of some of the types of things that an investment bank does, even all the way back to just buying a big chunk of land on behalf of a government. Now, investment banking expands beyond just buying land and supporting governments, although that still continues today in the form of municipal bonds, where governments, whether it's city, local, national, will leverage investment banks to help them put together bonds that are then sold to investors. Investment banking is also used by large companies and small companies to raise money to finance their businesses. Now, when they're doing that, there are basically two sides of every transaction. On the one side, you have the company that is trying to raise money and they'll hire an investment banker to go out and represent them to potential investors. So the real value there is that these investment bankers are cultivating relationships with lots of different investors. These investment bankers really understand the, their investors that they're working with and the types of investments that they like. And so they're able to do some matchmaking along the way, right? Like, hey, this these types of investors are gonna find your company really interesting. And then let's get you in front of them. Let's help you prepare and craft the best possible story and hopefully convince those, in, those investors to invest in the company. So in that case, where the investment bankers are representing the company, that is classic sell side, right? As an investment banker, you are selling equity in that company, or in some cases, you're selling the entire company to potential investors or potential acquirers. Sometimes you'll see in the news that a company will announce that they are on the market looking to find a buyer to acquire the business. Or a large company will say, hey, we're looking to spin off this section of our of our overall business or this business unit. And they'll hire investment bankers to help kind of put together the whole marketing package, right? This is what the company does. This is how the financials are performing. This is the opportunity on the upside. And then take it to relevant buyers that might find it interesting. Now, in very large transactions, you also have investment bankers working on the other side. So let's say you have a company that sees that other company and says, hey, I really wanna buy that other company, but I would like some help on the advisory side to negotiate the transaction, to help do the due diligence, whatever it might be. And in those cases, they'll also hire an investment bank to do that. That is more on the buy side, where the investment bankers are advising clients on the buy side. Sometimes too, if you're working in investment banking, if you don't have a transaction, sometimes what your managing director will do is have you as a team work on putting together different pitch materials and then going to potential buyers and suggesting, hey, here are some potential acquisitions that we think could make a lot of sense for you. So maybe it's like putting together a pitch to Microsoft and saying, hey, here are like five to 10 companies in this space that you should really consider buying and we can make that happen for you. That's a very common thing that investment bankers do during their downtime to try to drum up new clients. Generally speaking, there's a lot more activity on the sell side because you know, it's always easier to buy something than it is to sell it. And usually if you're trying to raise capital or you're trying to sell your business, getting the help of an investment banker can be really valuable because they can help you frame the story in the right way. They can help represent you in negotiations. They can help you find the right investors that are a good fit for your business. Okay, so why does all this matter? Well, if you wanna get a job as an investment banker, you really need to understand what investment bankers do. I meet with students all the time. 
where they're like, yeah, I want to work in investment banking. And I'll ask them, what, is, what do investment bankers do? As kind of a test to see how much they know. And invariably, I get answers along the lines of, oh, well, uh, they, they invest in companies and they help those companies grow. And, you know, they're investing in public stocks and so forth. And that's really not that's really not what an investment banker does, right? Like I said earlier, investment bankers are really focused on helping companies raise money. And while they do help companies grow, they do it by helping them raise money or get acquired or, or what have you. In order to land those jobs and perform well in an interview for investment banking, you really need to understand what they're doing. And you need to understand the various parts of an investment bank and the types of work that they're doing. If you wanna work on the advisory side, on the buy side, sell side of an investment bank, then you need to understand the different types of transactions that they're doing, the different types of advice they're giving. Maybe you wanna work on the more government side of things and work in the, on the muni desk. Maybe you wanna work on the IPO side where you're taking hot companies public. Or maybe you wanna work on the M&A side where you're helping companies acquire one another and you're advising one side or the other in that transaction. Maybe you wanna work in the leveraged finance division of an investment bank where you're working directly with private equity firms and helping them structure the overall transaction uh, with the various levels of debt, right? Senior debt, mezzanine debt, et cetera. Because ultimately you really wanna work in private equity and that can be a great launch pad for that. Maybe you don't wanna do any of that advisory work and you really wanna work sales and trading and, and work a sales desk where you are working with clients to get them in and out of different public securities, whether they're equities or bonds. Or maybe from an investment banking perspective, you're like, hey, what I really love doing is deep research and I wanna spend my time researching stocks and industries. In that case, you'd work in the market research division, which can be a great place to cut your teeth on evaluating stocks and doing really deep research that can be beneficial to landing careers in other places like venture capital. Investment banking can be a fast-paced environment with lots of dynamic things going on where you're helping companies and you're moving millions if not billions of dollars around and advising some of the biggest companies and investors in the world. So if that's for you, dive into some of my other videos, learn more about what venture capital, private equity, investment banking is really all about. Like, check out my video, what it's like working in private equity. Thanks.